Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joshua McDonald and today we're going to be checking out the 2024 Chevrolet Colorado ZR2. Now if you guys are in the market for a new or used vehicle, make sure you check out the links in the description or in the pinned comment. Now without further ado, let's check out the Chevrolet Colorado ZR2. All right, so starting up front on the Chevrolet Colorado ZR2, we have a ton of aggressive features up front here. We have this really aggressive hood with this kind of stick on thing right here that makes it stand up a little bit taller. We have our headlights, we have our ZR2 logo, and we have the Chevrolet flow tie. So we have more airflow to the radiator. We also do have steel skid plates up here, two red tow hooks, and we have this really angular front bumper. Now what this is gonna allow us to do is to get up to 10.7 inches of ground clearance, which is huge. So this is the ultimate off-road machine. Let's see what kind of motor we have under the hood. So underneath the hood of the Chevrolet Colorado ZR2, we have the 2.7 liter turbo four-cylinder turbo max motor from General Motors. This is gonna give you 310 horsepower and a whopping 430 pound-feet of torque. Now towing capacity on the other Colorado models is around 7,700 pounds, but for the ZR2, we can tow 6,000 pounds. Let's go ahead and start up this turbo max motor and see how she sounds. But we have a really cool sounding motor with that 2.7 liter turbo four cylinder. Let's take a closer look at the front. So you can see all of these aggressive accents that we have. We have this gigantic skid plate underneath. You can also see the Multimatic suspension that we have on the front and back. I'll go more depth than that here in a moment. We have our two red tow hooks. We have our Chevrolet flow tie. Gives it a really, really sick appearance on this truck. But let's take a look at the side and see what features we have there. So for the side of the Chevrolet Colorado ZR2, first thing we'll notice is these massive off-road tires and wheels that we have. So these are Goodyear Wrangler Territory MTs. The size on these is gonna be 285 70 17s. All the way around, same size up front as you have in the back. For the ZR2, we also have a steel rock slider on the side. And moving to the back, we have plastic wheel arches. So this really makes it wider on the front and back. You'll notice we have the same plastic wheel arches on the back as we do in the front as well. We're gonna have our Chevrolet Colorado ZR2 logo on the back, but let's take a deeper look on everything on the side. So guys, we have a really aggressive side profile on this vehicle. You can see we have these beautiful 18 inch wheels. There is also a package where you can get beadlock capable wheels as well. And we do have the Multimatic suspension as you can see there. So in my opinion, this is the smoothest riding suspension you can get in any vehicle that Chevrolet or GMC offers. You'll also notice we have our rock sliders on the side. So if you're off-roading, you don't have to worry about the side of your vehicle getting destroyed. You can also get a better look at all of the skid plates we have underneath. Moving to the back, we also do have the same 18 inch wheels and the Multimatic DSSV. ZR2 logo on the back. And we also do have our exhaust outlet on the side. But let's take a look inside the bed and at the back. So for the back of the Chevrolet Colorado ZR2, we're gonna have a five foot bed. This is gonna give you a ton of space inside here for a mid-sized truck. You're also gonna have your Chevrolet logo stamped inside the tailgate, ZR2 logo, and your Colorado logo as well. You also do have these step-ups right here with plenty of grip, so you can step up into the bed if need be. You also have your towing hookup right here. Like I said, this vehicle will tow around 6,000 pounds, and you have your four pin and six pin connector. Let's take a deeper look inside the bed and at the spare tire setup. So guys, here's a closer look at the back of the ZR2. You have your four pin, and six pin connector as well. Here's your towing hookup and you have your spare tire underneath. You also do have the holes in the bumper for the ultrasonic parking sensors. So if you get close to an object, the infotainment screen will beep at you and let you know to back up. Let's go ahead and open up the bed on this bad boy. Like I said before, it's a five foot bed. We have our bed liner inside with the ZR2 logo. You have two tie downs on each side and you do have this pretty cool 120 volt outlet. Another cool feature for the tailgate is we do have a ruler right here. So this is in inches, it'll go all the way up to 48 inches or four feet, and we do have storage underneath as well. So if you wanna unlock that, you can just pull on the side, just like that, and you can lift up and you have storage space in the tailgate. 
So you can put drinks, fishing supplies, whatever you need back there. If you want to lock it back up, you just got to put a little bit of pressure on it and then put it to the right. Same thing on the other side, push down and turn it. But really cool tailgate setup. You also do have a couple of drink holders so you can sit on the tailgate and drink some drinks with your buddies. Now let's take a look at the features in the back seat. But before we do that, let's take a look at our gas fill up. So the way you open that is you just push on it to unlock or lock it. You have a capless gas fill system, so no need to unscrew or screw on a gas cap. This vehicle will take 87 octane, so that'll save you some money for sure. But taking a look at the back seats, we have a pretty cool interior on this vehicle. We have yellow stitching with gray and black accents. This one also does have the cloth seats, but you can get leather in an upgraded package. We have yellow seat belts all the way around, so we have three seat belts from the back. Yellow really makes it stand out. We also do kind of have this cool digital camouflage accent on the seats, but let's take a step inside and see what else it has to offer. So back room here is pretty limited. That's where the driver's seat would be if I was driving. I'm about six foot tall on a good day, but we have our AC vents back here. We have our phone hookups. We have storage behind the passenger seat. Let me go ahead and give you a deeper look inside the back seat. So for the back seat, you can also lift up on the seats as well. This will reveal the storage area underneath where you can see all of your tools to get out your spare tire. You have your jack, everything like that. If you want to lift these seats up, you can pull up on this lever or you can pull up on it to let them back down. All right, guys, let's climb in the back seats and see how much space I have. I really wanted to record myself doing this just to show you how much you have to jump up and get inside this thing because of how tall it sits. But sitting back here, room is pretty limited. I'm about six foot tall on a good day. I have pretty decent leg room for a mid-sized truck. Headroom is pretty good. I have about a couple inches above my head. So if you're about six foot three, six foot four, I don't think you'll fit back here. But these cloth seats are pretty comfortable. I have my yellow seat belts. So safety at all times, I can plug those in and look pretty cool. Um, but you know, back seat is pretty limited, but the most important thing about this truck is the front seat. So let's sit up there and take a look at all the features up front. All right guys, so moving to the front seat, let's go ahead and open up the door and hop inside. Now the Colorado ZR2 has a two inch lift from the factory. So let's jump up in here, Ugh, there we go. So we have our seat up front. We have a power seat so I can move it forwards, backwards. I can move it down, up. I can also recline or decline the seat. You also do have power lumbar control so you can move that out or in. Same thing up front, I have my yellow seat belts, yellow stitch seats with that digital camo pattern. I have really good room up here. So I'm about six foot tall like I said before. Really good room up here, plenty of space for me and my passenger, but let's take a deeper look inside. All right guys, inside the Chevrolet Colorado ZR2, we have all of our window controls right by the driver's side door. We also do have our mirror adjustments and inside the mirror, you'll notice we have this little car right there. So that little car right there will light up orange if something's in our blind spot. We have our unlock lock and we have our door handle. We have storage on the top, middle and bottom part of the door as well. Underneath, we're going to have our latch to open up the hood. We're going to have our trailer brake controller, and we can adjust the brightness of the screen right here in the middle. Moving to the steering wheel, we're going to have our cruise control buttons right there. We also do have forward collision on this vehicle, so you can adjust your gap from three car, two car, or one car lengths. We have a leather wrapped steering wheel with the black Chevrolet bow tie in the center. On the right side of the steering wheel, we're going to have our quick buttons. So we have our hands-free voice commands, we have our music, we have our call dropping, and we can pick up our calls. You can scroll up and down and hit enter on this center screen right here. And you also do have a few different layouts. So if you hit this button right here, you can switch through all of your different layouts. So we have one for our Google Maps. We have a sport one. We have an off-road one. We have our driver assistance. We have a simplified layout. And we have our classic one with our speed in the middle. You can also see what drive mode we're in. Right now we're in two wheel drive. The way you change your drive mode is right here in the center. So you have two high, four high, four low, and auto. You also do have different drive modes in this vehicle. So if you switch this to the right or left, you can scroll through all the different modes. So we have normal, we have off-road, we have tow haul, we have terrain, Baja, and normal. So a ton of different drive modes. Really cool thing is it changes the layout behind it. Super cool setup right there. Also, we can adjust the steering wheel by pulling down on this thing right below, and you can move the steering wheel out, in, up, and down. 
We also have our windshield wiper controls right there with our windshield wiper fluid. Behind the steering wheel, we're gonna have two panels on each side. This one will let you scroll up and down through your presets. And on the right side, you can turn up or down your music. We have our start button right behind the steering wheel. We have a holder right here for your phone. On some of them, it's a wireless charging pad. You have your USB-C, USB hookups, and you have your shifter. So if you wanna shift, you just press on this button right here and you can pull back for reverse. When you go into reverse, you can see all of your different cameras. So you can turn on your surround view so you can have a 360 view of the truck. You have a zoomed in back view, zoomed in front. You can also see your front wheels or your back wheels. If you're in backup mode, you do have a couple of different lines you can use. So you have one for parking spaces and one for hooking up a trailer, as you can see there. You also do have a view for your tow hitch and you can also see underneath this vehicle, which is super cool if you're off-roading. You also do have this layout right here where you can see right below the hood and you can see in front and behind you on the cameras. Now, I don't know why the cameras is glitching out. This is a new vehicle, so don't blame me there. We'll pull back for neutral, drive, and L mode. Now, when you're in L mode, you can shift up or down through the gears by these little toggles on the left side of the shifter. You have two cup holders. You have a center console with a little cubby you can take out to reveal extra storage space. Moving above the shifter, we have our rear locking differential. We also have a front and rear locking differential. Automatic stop start, hazards, lane keep assist, our auxiliary, which is that plug in in the bed. And we do have our button right here that'll roll down all the windows. We have two AC vents in the middle, one for the driver's side and one for the passenger side. We have a beautiful dashboard with the ZR2 logo. We have black, black multicam camo, and we do have yellow stitching. Inside our glove box, we're gonna have pretty good storage space inside of there. But let's move to the infotainment screen. So we'll hit stay in demo mode since this is a demo vehicle. We have a bunch of different apps on here. So we have vehicle status. That will let you see, you know, um, your tire pressure, as you can see there. You can go all the way around on this little Colorado right here and you can see your brake pad life. You can also see your engine air filter life, oil life. But if you want a simplified view and don't want to scroll around on this little Colorado, you can go to your tire and brakes tab, fluids and filter, engine, and your trip odometers. You'll see we have Google Assistant, Google Play Store, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay. We also do have those cameras, Amazon Alexa, trailering, settings, and climate. We have our Wi-Fi hotspot, and we do have the off-road app where you have a few different adjustments here. We have Baja mode, terrain, and overlanding mode. You also do have your audio, which is your AM, FM, Sirius XM radio, as well as Bluetooth, built-in Google Maps, phone, controls, my Chevrolet, and air down mode. So air down mode is pretty cool. You can set your target PSI to whatever you want, and when you leak out the air on the tires, it'll beep and let you know when you're at that PSI. You have your Google Podcast and Google News. You also do have controls right here, so you can have your power window lockout, traction control, high beams, all that stuff in one place. We also do have Bose audio in this vehicle with storage behind the infotainment screen, but we have an absolutely beautiful interior inside this vehicle, guys. This one also does come equipped with the sunroof, so you have a manually opening sunshade. You can also open up the sunroof by pressing this button right here. And to close it back, you just hit the opposite side. You can also tilt it up with this button right here and tilt it back down. But that is it for the inside of the Chevrolet Colorado ZR2. Let's take one last look at the outside and we'll take a look at the window sticker and see how much it costs. So guys, that is the 2024 Chevrolet Colorado ZR2. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you guys think this is the ultimate off-road mid-size truck or does things like the Ford Ranger Raptor beat it out? Let me know in the comments down below. But man, this is an absolutely beautiful truck. We have a two inch lift. We have the 2.7 liter Turbo Max motor with plenty of power and we have great towing capability as well. But that's it for the outside of this vehicle. Let's take a look at the window sticker and see how much one of these will cost for you. All right guys, so here's the window sticker. This is the 2024 Colorado four wheel drive ZR2 crew cab. Black on black with the 2.7 liter Turbo Max motor and an eight speed automatic transmission. Base price of the ZR2 is going to be $46,800. This one has all of these packages on it, so a destination charge, this one comes out to $51,840.
gas mileage, you're gonna get 17 miles per gallon, 17 city, 17 highway. Here's all the safety ratings and here's the whole window sticker if you guys wanna pause the video and take a look at it.